kept it on in front of the junk, they can never replace my girl Cinderella. Said if you down, then I'm down for whatever. Long as we crazy together. Yeah. It's been a rough week. Oh, child, it's been a rough week. And the rough just keep getting rougher. <laughs> but anyway, with that said, hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a very quick one. Okay. I done recorded this intro about three times. I've been off of YouTube so long, I don't even know how to record a proper intro. <laughs> Shame on me. Anyway, first of all, hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for your continued support. Seriously, thank you for your continued support. Anyway, if you are new here, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate that. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for giving me another chance. Because baby, I'll be pushing it. I know I'll be pushing it. But I'm really, really, really trying to get it together. And if you working with me, that's all I ask for. Anyway, seriously. We're going to get into tackling this. I know it looks so crazy. My hair has been going through. You know how I told y'all that I was depressed? And you know when you're depressed, you just kind of like stop taking care of stuff. Stop taking care of yourself. Stop taking care of everything. This is like straight up transparency. And baby. The hair is all over. And it's crunchy too. My, <laughs> my hair is mad crunchy. But I took my boho um, braids out. I was supposed to wash my hair. Do not judge me. I took my hair out two weeks ago. Two weeks ago when I took my braids out, I said I was going to wash my hair. I did not. I just wet it, combed it through, and I had the sealy braids in that you would have seen in last the last vlog I had those braids in today I said enough is enough I'm going to attempt to give myself an Olaplex um Olaplex treatment now I didn't buy the full packet I only bought number three and the shampoo and the conditioner and we just gonna pray it work because I need something for my hair like I can't even begin to tell you. My hair started going through the most after I had Journey. And you know Journey is four. First of all, I'm not even about to talk to y'all like that. Let me put this back on. <laughs> anyway. So like I was saying, I had Journey in 2019. I have always had long, beautiful hair. Never had a problem with retaining my life. But I had journey and I went through postpartum hair loss. And it's so crazy because the lady Kim that does my hair in Brooklyn at Bourgeois um, Salon, she kept telling me, you know, expect to go through this transition. I'm like, oh, it's not going to happen to me. And it happened to me when I had the twins because it did not happen to me when I had the twins. I was able to retain my length and um, the thickness of my hair. Baby, I had journey. My hair was coming out in the clumps. And it all was coming out from the middle. So the front of my hair was fine. I was retaining length in the front. But I was never able to maintain the length of my hair in the back. And when I say it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. It kept getting worse. And then. I dyed my hair on top of that. I bleached it. I'm going to put a picture in there of how light my hair got. I'm going to put it right here. How light I had bleached my hair. To get it to the desired color of red. And I'm. I'm going to show you the red hair as well. And don't get me wrong. I loved my red hair. That color 8. And this is in 2019. Before the girls was going crazy fire red. Maybe Rihanna. But you know. But the color 8. And that shit ate my hair right on up. <laughs> not even joking. And my, still, my hair has still not been able to bounce back from that. So... 
I just stopped like really taking care of my hair and doing the things that I used to do to maintain my hair. So now I'm in a place where I'm, I honestly wanted to cut all my hair off. When I rinsed my hair out the other day after taking out my braids, because like I said, I didn't wash it. I just rinsed it. I conditioned it. And then I just comb, like I combed it through and then I put it in some braids. When I show you how damaged my hair was, it's a little video. When I show you how damaged my hair was, you're going to be like, yeah, you should have shaved that shit off. Because that's how I felt. But I text Kim. I text Kim back in Brooklyn. And I was like, Kim, I don't know what to do. I want to shave my hair. I want to cut all my hair. She said, don't cut your hair. Don't touch it. I'm like, let me just clip all the straight parts off. She said, do not touch your hair as far as cutting it. When you come to Brooklyn, just come see me. I'm like, all right, whatever. I couldn't contain myself. I put my hair in them braids and I just cut the ends off the braids. And... <clears throat> Don't ask me if it's, it's not even. We know it's not even. You just saw that it's not even. It's here, 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 here. Like, I ain't got time. Anyway, um, the man had made some clove water. And he also made clove oil. So, from what I hear, clove water is good for stimulating hair growth. So, I was spraying my hair with the clove water. And I will not lie to you. I feel like my hair has gotten a little bit thicker. But I know for a fact that it didn't grow. It was only two weeks. <laughs> But we're going to get to it. So today I am going to do an Olaplex treatment. Well, just the first step of the, excuse me, the Olaplex treatment. And we're just going to get this hair together. So stick with me. Baby, I have had this Ulta bag since black. Friday. Do you hear me? Black Friday. It's not even a joke. I have an Ulta bag and I also have a Sephora box that we're going to go through not in this video but in the next video. But um, during Black Friday Olaplex was on sale. It was on sale. I don't remember the price because that was many months ago. But I bought the shampoo. I bought number three. This is the treatment. The Bond the hair perfecter. I bought number three. And I bought number five. This is a conditioner. So this is what we're going to use today. And hopefully we can see if it will start um, to help revert some of that heat damage back. Because that's what it is. A lot of it is heat damage because I've been whatever. Um, I also bought this, a Mika, I think it's a Mika or a Mika, a Mika, the cure. It's also a bond treatment. I will link this down below because I actually got this from Amazon, but it is an intense bond repair hair mask. And I'm going to use this today too. That came from Amazon. But while we're here, let's just keep going through this Ulta haul because I'm tired of sitting on this bag. And I promise you, I've been sitting on this stuff saying, oh, I'm not using it because I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video. And November, December, January, we're at the end of February. So also, for the Black Friday special, I'm not even going to mention Black Friday again, but for the sale that Ulta had many months ago, I bought the Good Molecules Face Soap. I actually really, really like this face soap. It's good for treating dark spots. But, um, I went back to using my Urban Skin RX for even and clear tone. And I'll be, I'm dogging this out. But I went back to using that because I have a lot of dark spots. And I have, um, I keep getting under the, I don't know, I keep getting under the skin acne. If you see this dark spot right here and it's like, they just keep popping up on my cheeks. And I'm thinking when they, when they come, it don't even come to a full head, but I'm thinking when it does a surface, when I squeeze it, I'm getting everything out. And clearly I'm not because it keeps coming back. So I have to do like a deep extraction on that. And I'm dreading it because I know that it's going to come with like heavy scarring it's already scarred but it's gonna get worse if i mess with it 
but aside from that all the other dark months that i was having on my face the even and clear tone um urban skin rx has been working wonders and that's like 15 dollars in target all right what else i got my toner i love 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 this toner from good molecules it's the niacinamide toner and niacinamide is good for um repairing and resurfacing in your skin um it's also a brightener the skin brightener i love this toner so now i can finally put that in the home with the rest of my skincare stuff because i really wouldn't open anything until i did this the fall haul. i mean open haul. oh baby listen i wouldn't go with been thinking i've been thinking really hard about buying these products okay because I always see the girls in the videos with this, right? And I'm like, are they promoting this because they're sponsored? Or are they really promoting it because they like it? Baby, it got to be to like it. When I say, is it way or we? Way, way. When I say this way, it smells so good it smells so good and it's definitely worth every penny it's, it's, it's not cheap not cheap at all all in all when i went to sephora i think i spent about four hundred dollars i spent four hundred dollars and this stuff was on sale but i got the body scrub this is the melrose place body scrub which smells really, really good. Mm. I love the mat. It's, it's, it's very fragrant. But the Melrose Place Body Scrub. And then I have the St. Bart's Body Cream. And I think I picked up the Melrose Place body scrub by accident, but I do not regret it because the Melrose Place smells good too. It smells really good, it's, but it's more perfumey if you get what I'm saying. And I'll drop the um, the notes of the perfume. I mean, uh, I'll drop the notes of the scrub in the video somewhere on the screen. Let me put you on Osea. I have no plans to use her yet, but I wanted to get it, right? Because it was like, get it while you got it, because when you don't have it and you want it, you're going to be mad. When I say, this, this is smells so good. Like, even if you don't want to buy it, I would encourage you, if you're an Ulta, just be like, let me see what this smell like. When you smell it, you're going to want to buy it. You want to know what's so crazy? The bottle is glass. When I was in um, Ulta, I broke one by mistake. It was the one that I just paid for it, was at the register, dropped it, and they gave me another one. It smells so freaking good. Oh, there's no words for it. It just smells good. But this is the body oil. You use it fresh out the shower. I know I'm going through that. I think that's going to be like my summer staple. And honestly, I think it's going to be my summer staple for bedtime if you know, you know. Baby, this body butter. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so good. And the packaging and everything. It smells so good. I'm not flipping out off. Oh my God, this smells so good. I hate that I'm putting it on and then I'm going to have to wash it off because I'm about to wash my hair. That is it for my Ulta haul. And yes, do you know this stuff is expensive? If I said I spent about $400 on all of this stuff and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Oh, and I'm actually 10 because when I bought these, I bought two. 
I use this on my body too to help with my hyperpigmentation under my underarms. Now I feel good. I can finally put my stuff up and get rid of that big old pink bag. That was our impromptu alcohol with more to come. Oh, I have something else from this also too. Where is it? Baby. Bintay. I also have this from Ulta. I was dying to get my hands on this. This is Wicked, Wicked Wine from Fenty. And those that know me, which mostly, most of the people on my channel are subscribed to me are, like they know me personally. I'm a red lipstick girly. They were sold out of the MVP, which is the deep red, the bright red, but this Wicked Wine, it's like a burgundy. That color, yeah. Now let's get into this hair. Oh, girl, your hair, yo, it's so crunchy. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And you can see how you can see how it's long in the front, strands in the back. The middle is like non-existent. It's super dry now too, which is so crazy because I've been moisturizing it like crazy. But yeah, I wanted to cut all of this off. And Kim was like, nope, wait till you come to me. So I'm going to make an appointment to go to her. But in the meantime, let's get to Okay, so this gotta sit for 10 minutes. While it's sitting, let's do a really, really quick Amazon haul. This stuff came today. Um, somebody recommended this to me to braid journey hair because I was using a shining jam and it does absolutely nothing for her hair. And I'm journey has a type of hair where I can wash her hair today. I'm um, braid her hair today, and it looked like she had her braids in for for four days. Five days. So, someone told me about this braid gel. If I could get it open. Okay. 
So, um, so I'm gonna try this out on her cornrow locks twist braid gel extreme hold, which she needs. It's an edge control too. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that. I also said in her last wash day that I was switching to a Mika, a Mika, a Mika. I need to Google how to say this correctly, but a Mika products. Um, I purchased this Hydro Rush. Journey has beautiful hair, but her hair gets so dry. So I purchased this Hydro Rush um, shampoo and conditioner. This this shit was expensive. It was $23. I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna link it, but I'll, I never used it. So we're gonna see how it works out and if it really does hydrate her hair. I bought it for myself and for her. Um, let's see how it goes. But it's an intense moisture conditioner and an intense moisture shampoo. And I heard their products are like really, really bomb. So I'm gonna try that. And then I bought this Soul Food mask it's a hair mask is a nourishing hair mask and i haven't got my glasses on to tell y'all what it say so yeah maybe i'll link the ingredients maybe not it's thick too it's super thick what you need in it oh i love that it's super thick so I'm gonna let y'all know how those products work out for my little home girl. And um if we like them, let's give it about a month of um weekly hand wash. And if we like them, you're welcome, right? Right? So yeah, that's the new thing. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit in my hand for 10 minutes, like I said, and then I'll wash it out. And well, I'll come and let y'all see what it looks like after before I wash it out. Let's see if we got some curls. And if we got curls, it's a go. And then I'm gonna wash it out. A few moments later. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I told y'all I'd be back in 20 minutes. I mean in 10 minutes. I came back in 23. And I don't know. We ain't got no curls. It's still dead to the world. I mean, it's one treatment, right? Let's see what happens with the next one. I'm gonna go wash this out. I really just wanna cut it all. And I'm trying to be, you know, listen to Kim, but I just really wanna cut it all. I wanna do a big chop so bad. But I'm trying to listen to Kim, so that's not what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go wash this and shampoo, and then we'll be back. Look at my hair, like just how it just comes out. I don't know, some wrong girl. <laughs> what you laughing at? No, I put that. No, because you always fucking do that. I'm trying to get the back here. No, get out of here. You're a troublemaker. Okay, it did a little something for some of the curls, but baby, we still got to cut. I cannot wait to go to New York and get my hair cut. Okay, we back. I got nine minutes left on my memory card. So, my hair is still fried. <laughs> I know I look crazy, but, but the point of it all is I really need to cut these ends and I'm trying to, like I said, listen to Kim and not do it. But I can help by just trying to Wash my hair often, keep it moisturized, and then when I go to New York, I'm going to get me a serious bob, like serious. 
I'm going in with this Amica, Amica, Amica Cure, The Cure. It's an intensive bond repair mask. So I'm going to use that. We're trying to get this hair strong again. Because there's no reason why when I comb my hair, I'm losing it in clumps. And it's only because I haven't been taking care of my hair at all. So... We try to change that. We're gonna try to get on a good routine and see what happens. But you, I can clearly see what needs to be cut. <laughs> and when I went natural years ago, I never um, did a big chop. But I believe that is um, the bleach parts of my hair because when I bleached it when I got tired of the red and I got tired of seeing how damaged it was I just threw a black box dye over it so I was just fucking up my own hair to be honest with you if you really want to be real I was doing it to myself but anyway baby we got six minutes left This is how it comes. It's thick like the other one. I'm gonna just put it in, section it off, and um, let it sit. I think it's supposed to sit for like 15 to 20 minutes. I only got four minutes left on my memory card and um, I got to transfer some stuff over but in the state that I am and like mentally if I don't get this done like if I stop to transfer stuff I ain't going to want to finish doing this and it's already 10 30 at night so I promise you I ain't gonna miss nothing. And I slide a little picture in there to see what the results was once we finished. With that said, the Olaplex part is over. Thank you for tuning in. We going. I love y'all. Good night. Thank you for tuning into this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I'm singing to y'all. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you. Catch you on the next one. Oh, uh, here got my picture.